Drake University strives to create an exceptional environment, not just for learning, but also for living. There are multiple on-campus housing and dining options. First year students live in the quads consisting of four identical residence halls, Harriet, Carpenter, Crawford, and Stonacker. To access your residence hall, your user ID card to scan in. When you enter the residence hall, you will first notice the lobby. This is a space for studying, hanging out, or watching TV. As we move toward the rooms, you're running to the front desk. Someone is staffing the front desk 24-7. You're able to check out games, vacuums, tools, and pots and pans here for free. In addition, students are able to pick up packages here. Students also receive their own mailboxes that are in the residence halls. Other important areas in the residence hall include the laundry room, additional study spaces, and a kitchen. The first year residence hall consists of three types of rooms, singles, doubles, or triples. Each room comes with a lofted bed, a twin XL mattress, half dresser, wardrobe, desk, and chair. As students enter their sophomore year, there are a few housing options to consider. Morehouse, Jewett, and Goodwin Kirk. Morehouse and Jewett offers singles and doubles. Goodwin Kirk has a quad style living, which means there are two bedrooms on each side with a shared living space. Now that you have a better idea about housing at Drake, let's talk food. Hubble Dining Hall is the central dining center on campus. As you can see, Hubble offers a variety of food for students, including vegetarian and vegan options. Drake also has an in-house dietitian who works with students with special dietary needs. There are multiple meal plans available, and I encourage you to reach out to your admissions counselor for more details about those. The C Store is a convenience store located below Hubble. Here, students buy snacks, drinks, sandwiches, and even some basic toiletries. Students are able to use their flex dollars included with meal plans here to purchase items. Now that you've taken a look at housing and dining, let's see how some current Drake students have turned their rooms into their own. Come on in. My name is Morgan Coleman. Hi, my name is Callie. My name is Abby. Hi, my name is Hunter. I'm a sophomore here at Drake, and I'm going to be showing you my single room today in Stolly. And we are first years here at Drake, and we want to welcome you to our double room in Stolly and I am a junior at Drake University and I'm showing you my single dorm room at Stolly. My top must bring item would have to be uh, like a little shoe rack right here. My top must bring item has to be our snack cart um, just because it can fit a lot of snacks and it's very uh, accessible. My top must bring item is these collapsible storage bins because they can fit a lot of stuff that you don't necessarily want out showing in your room. Um, I would have to say that because I bring a ton of stuff all the time, it would have to be these wonderful shelving units. Uh, the one thing that makes me feel most at home is probably my desk area, just because I was really able to customize it with little things that remind me of home and pictures of friends and family. My thing that reminds me of home the most is my picture wall, just because I can look at these photos and be reminded of my friends and family at home when I miss them. It would be like this little collage thing I have going. Um, I bought it off a photographer, a couple actually, based in New York, and they took all these images themselves and they sell like little collage kits. Um, so I put this up, because at home I have like a whole wall that's full of different images, and then I put up some postcards from places that I've been so like we have Vienna, we have New York, we have Germany up there, and then some helpful quotes up there to get me through the day. I would have to say my futon just because I really like being comfortable and I always like to bring a ton of pillows. There are also a ton of decorative pillows on my bed, so it just really makes me feel warm and snuggly here at Stolly. <laughs> Uh, we'd say the most unique part of our room is probably our futon, as we chose to collapse it and lay it down flat. Um, this way it does double as a bed and it provides more space than just a traditional futon. Definitely my tapestries. I have two tapestries. This one is just, you know, represents my culture, my identity, but it also ties with the colors of my room and it was my mother's vision. And then also this tapestry, um, just the picture of the world um, because I am an international relations major, so it just kind of makes sense. 
So I think the most unique part about my room, we'll come back to this, is a clothing rack. The best advice I would have for you if you're an incoming student would be do your best to personalize and tailor your room to what's going to make you feel comfortable. Uh, my best piece of advice for incoming students would be to invest in a shower caddy and some shower shoes um, just so it makes your showering experience a little better. And my number one piece of advice for incoming students is to meet all the people on your floor right away and to go to as many events as possible. Um, that way you have a lot of friends and your first year experience is as good as it can be. Um, my best advice for incoming students would have to be make your room your home, but also make sure you're really getting involved with events that are going on in the hall. There will be events planned by your RAs and by the executive council and it really makes it easy to both have a fun, living, learning community here at Drake. And this is what my room looks like. This is a full video of what our room looks like and everything inside of it. This is what my room looks like.